Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMo. Today we have an interesting equation. We have exponential equation a to the power x plus 2 to the power x equal to 68. How can you solve this equation? Take a look. We have 2 to the power x right here and we can we have 8. So we can write this 8 as 2 cube. As a result we'll have same basis. So let's do this at the beginning. What we will have? We will have 2 cube, 2 cube to the power x and plus 2 to the power x equal to 68. So what we're going to do next? Take a look. We have 2 cube raised to the power x. So as a result we, we all know the rule that e we can swap this exponent, this power. This is the rule of interchange. As a result we can write this as 2 to the power 3x and then 2 to the power x to the cube power. But let's use the rule of interchange. Right now as a result we'll have 2 to the power x cube plus 2 to the power x equal to 68. So let's let's remember, let's learn about this rule. So this we can swap. This power, this exponent, doesn't matter. We can swap this. So what we're going to do next? Take a look. We have 2 to the power x and we have 2 to the power x right here. As a result we can work with, with the substitution. So let this 2 to the power x will be equal to, for example, in our case let's will be equal to 2t. Take a look what we will have. We will have right here not t but t cube and right here we have only t. So as a result we will have cube equation. We will have t cube plus t and I bring this 68 on the left. Minus 68 equal to 0. This is our cube equation. Take a look. I want to suggest you a really good trick how to solve this equation because right now I see that t equal to 4 will be our root. So as a result we can factor out t minus 4 from every this element. What, are, what I mean? Take a look. I write this t cube right here. t cube. I don't have t square, but I want to factor out t minus 4. So I write minus 40 square and plus 40 square. This will be equal to, to 0. So nothing changed. This will be equal to 0. Take a look. Right here I have t, but I want to factor out t minus 4. So I write minus 16 t square minus 16 t and plus 17t. This will be equal to our t, so nothing change. This is our t. And minus 68 equal to equal to 0. Take a look what I'll have. This is the same thread here, but I want to write this and write this because we need to factor out t minus 4. What we will have? Take a look. If I factor out t square from these two elements, what we will have? t square and in parentheses we will have is t minus 4. So this is good for us, t minus 4. If I factor out from these two elements 4t, what we'll have? Plus 4t, and in parentheses we'll have t minus 4, which is good for us. And the last one, 17t minus 68. If I factor out 17, we'll have t minus 4, which is really good for us. Plus 17 and t minus 4 equal to 0. Take a look. Right now we have t minus 4, t minus 4 and t minus 4, so we can factor out this t minus 4 from all of these elements. We will have t minus 4 and in parentheses we will have this equation t square plus 4t and plus 17. t square plus 4t and plus 17. Take a look, we have a product equal to 0. So as a result, this element equal to 0 or this equal to 0. So we can write an equation that t minus 4 equal to 0. This is the first equation. From here t equal to 4. And as a result, let's go to our substitution. We had that 2 to the power x equal to t. Right here we have 2 to the power x equal to t, but t equal to 4. So as a result, we can write an equation that 2 to the power x equal to 4 and from here x equal to x equal to 2. This is our x first. I don't know if we have more roots but first root we, we find x1 equal to 2. This is our first parentheses. But we had we have the same parentheses right here so maybe we'll have more roots. So let's solve these these parentheses. What we'll have? We'll have quadratic equation t square plus 4t and plus 17, so we can find these t2 and t3 roots. So this is our t, t first, this is our x first, and let's find more roots right here. What we'll have? 
we will have the t squared plus 4t plus 17 equal to 0. We will have t2 and t3. Let's find this using ABC, classic case, classic quadratic equation. We will have minus b, it will be minus 4 plus minus z square root, 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 17. And all over, all over 2. Take a look what you can see. That this square root will be negative 1 because we will have 16 minus to minus a huge number than this 16. So this square root is negative 1 and as a result we will have complex root right here. So take a look, this one is negative 1. If we take in this square root from the negative number we will have a complex number. So as a result we can write that t2 and 3 will be complex 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 roots and as a result from here x2 and x3 will be complex complex roots as well. So as a result we will have that we will have one root in real number x equal to 2 and x2 and x3 will be complex roots. So if you're interested in these complex roots of course you can solve it easily you can find this square root using complex numbers and you will have maybe log from here because you will have 2 to the power x equal to this number taking log from both of the side and you have will have second and third root and if we're talking about the real numbers we have x1 equal to 2 which is real number so we can check it real quick we will have 8 square plus 2 square equal to 68, which is correct because we will have 64 plus 4, which is equal to 68. Moreover, you can you can solve it using inspect inspection because if you put 2, you will have this not is answer. But we are interested in in a solution. We are interested how to solve it. Then this is the main method how you can solve it easily. First of all, write in this cube and square because you may need to work with two, then substitution and a little bit trick right here. If you still have any question about this trick, you can write it in the comment and I I answer about this this trick, how I how I solve it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you still have any question, write a question in the comment. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting thumbs up. I really appreciate it and see you in the next videos. Thank you.